Good evening, everyone. This is Benny Minister, and this is our next installment of Let's Play Europa Universalis. And I have a surprise for you. We have a guest here. Can you say hello there, Alpha? Hello, everyone. <laughs> we'll be recording with Alpha during this game, so there might be a lot less chatter, or more chatter, who knows. But we'll see how it goes. If his uh, Skype ends up m messing up the game, we will drop it halfway through. But um, hopefully that won't happen. Yeah, I was hoping not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're good to start the game. Yeah, I think so. So I'll tell everyone to start. Alright. DB09 is not online, correct? No, I don't see him anywhere. <coughs> okay, so we're starting the game. I'm actually enjoying how this, they scream the knights will save us all right at the yeah, start of the yeah, game. Yeah. He's gonna... You're gonna rule everyone. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Of course, the poorest nation. Why not? Well, you're not gonna be poor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So it's the connecting screen. Now let's see somebody drop, so we can start this all over. <laughs> well, it always happens at some point. Yeah. So our oh, new players oh. are Cyber? Yeah, Cyber. Uh, the Imperial Wall is back. Uh, Rian Rao, Bohemia. Uh, Lucky Strikes playing Deccan. And I'm not sure the... D10996, was he playing? I'm not quite sure. No, me neither. Okay, well, uh, let me start my recording, so I'll introduce you. No and show problem. We're gonna be... Okay, just a moment. Hello everyone and welcome back. So we're now in the game and let me show you the surprise I told you about. I'm having the new graphical pack so you can see that the units are quite different now. But also we'll be recording this with our guest tonight. Say hello. Hello everyone. We're, we decided to record with Ben Minister. Uh, you could see his videos or mine videos depending from which side you just came. And we're gonna co-record this during the game, so I hope it will work okay. It might not, but hopefully it will. I I'm expecting so, explosions. Yeah. By the way, dude, do you see me? Uh, I can see knights quite clearly, but I heard that uh, Ottomans can see Novgorod, so I was wondering if you can. Uh, since I'm Western Tech, yeah, I can see you. Oh yeah, it's probably by the tech, I haven't thought about it. So, uh, let's just... We, we struck a small deal with the knights, uh, us sending them some uh, help and uh, laying protection on them, so hopefully our guest will enjoy that. <laughs> or he may drag Novgorod into an unnecessary war. Wow. <laughs> The Ottomans. I, I actually am going to stop my settlement policy here. I might actually convert over to being Greek culture because it's going to save me some time here. Um, I don't know if you guys have known, but since the start of the game, I've had revolts in my home province. Yeah, you could see that in, in the videos. Um, you want more people, actually, don't you? Oh, yes. I only have one unit of uh, mercenaries, and they're going to cost me worth too oh, much. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll arrange sending you some money as I have, um, well, not much, and I, I don't have any diplomats to send you now. Well, I'm but building a, a little galley here so that I can get a galley and then a cog together so I can ferry people over to Naxos. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember uh, the situation where you were trying desperately to get out of the island and they blocked you. God oh, damn it, uh, stupid, uh, what were they? We first had the Castilians who had me stuck in there, and then I got out of the war with them by converting to uh, Catholicism. And then I had to get stuck on there by the Montenegrins. Yeah, yeah. So by the way, what's happening in Zeta? Are you at war with... Oh yeah, you're at war with Venice. So are they sieging Zeta, or... Uh, what's they're happening? not actually touching Zeta. They're actually going after the Ottomans' territories. They are holding, so far they have Corazani. Um, the north is held in Greece by the Golden Horde. And they're sieging Larissa, which is right north of Athens, right now. 
Yeah, yeah, I can see that. So are you uh, actually having any other plans than getting the islands around Nexus and probably Cre Crete? Yes, Crete? I'm not sure what it's pronounced. Crete? Yes, Crete. And Cyprus. Well, first I want to collect my little islands here, the three pen... So Crete... Uh, they've renamed Road Rodency for some reason. I didn't do that. The game did. And Naxus. That's my plan for now. Uh, at some point, I'm going to try and extend over to Cyprus. But if I played in character, I'd never conquer Cyprus. Why? That's the royal family of Jerusalem right there. Oh, yeah, I can see. Hmm. It would be well, bad Cyprus. relations. <laughs> Cyprus seems... Well, it's a it's a weird, uh, you know, when you play Cyprus, I think you, yeah, you start Christian, but you you have Orthodox province, so uh, you immediately get penalties on income and everything. So yeah, it's much like playing the knights. Um, we you have to deal with the fact that you hardly have any income. Uh, yeah. Personally, I've been living off of giving everyone else advisors for the last little while. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually a good strategy. I, um, you know, when I was testing uh, the Canal game, um, before we started the multiplayer, I was trying to find out the strategy, uh, how to work with that. So um, the selling advisor thing actually helps a lot. Well, at least it should, as I think. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not sure <laughs> if it does work, but it should. And uh, the income is quite, quite okay. I so, just... have you checked the, the chat? I think that people can can start. I mean, I think... Well, I'll try to announce if everyone is okay. <laughs> I love how <laughs> Ottomans are saying I should have played as Iraq. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, everyone is just, uh, you know, regretting their choice of country. Well, I'm quite happy. I'm still poor, but I'm happy. Yeah, but um, you're quite... You know, you're in a good situation because Rhodes is uh, inaccessible by anyone else than Ottomans, I think. Yeah, Because of the, of the, you have level 2 or 3, level 2 garrison, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a good thing in the beginning because uh, without uh, the Art River in the first month, level level 2, level 2, um, what's it called? They call it, it's not garrison, they call it fort. Yep. Yes, yeah, level 2 Ford. I think level 2 Ford is um, almost almost uh, indestructible. <laughs> First, do you know about the level 3 province in Avignon? No, no. Just Avignon has it. level 3? It's the, yeah, oh it's my the, god. Uh, that... Avignon is archbishopic. Um, it's a, it's a one province minor, but they have level 3 garrison. And they always survives or get under siege by France for years and years before they surrender. Now, I'm going to pull your attention to what's happened to the main core of Venice here. Uh, I, Terviso is actually being held by Switzerland, and Ven Venice itself, Venezia, is being held by Castile. So they're quite oh, screwed. Um, I see. Albania is also under siege by Switzerland. Yeah, you're right. Okay, wait, I'll just uh, deal with some messages here and I'll get back uh, because people are writing to me and I'm not responding so that could make them angry. <laughs> okay, just a moment. Offer alliance to the Ottomans over here? That There we go, back into a military alliance with the Ottomans. They're actually dealing with peculiar risks as well. At least they can protect you. <laughs> you mean the fleet that they're using to hold back the Golden Horde? I don't think they're going to use that to help me. <laughs> um, the, I actually laughed when I saw the Byzantines had expanded over into uh, North Africa. And at one point they actually had um, the northern part of Turkey under their control too. Then they got into a war with uh, Algiers and just lost everything. Oh yeah, I can see that. Oh, and uh, Bohemia. Did you also notice that it took away? Uh... Ooh, Teutonic Order just give me money. 
Yeah, but I, I arranged that. Oh, that's always nice. Because we're we're allies, so I wanted to, you know, make him uh, help you as well. Well, Switzerland seems to be having a problem. You know how Switzerland had grabbed both Crane and Gortz, which were the gold producers? Wow, they're bohemian now. Exactly. What the hell happened? I don't know. Um, I looked in the- oh, just over there, I was like, oh! That, this will be interesting. I, I don't know if he's gonna play categorically just like uh, Switzerland will, who basically just through history just hired themselves out to everybody. Man, this might be weird. Well, we'll see about that. So what are your plans for today? I'm mm -hmm. gonna try and take Naxos. That is my main goal. Um, I'm trying to build a ship right now. But, yeah, if I can take Naxos out, I will be happy. That will expand my knightly dominion over people who actually want to be under the knights. Here, take the money. <laughs> Here, have money. <laughs> no! No, I keep your money! <laughs> I'll be poor in peace. We have a very bad reputation. This is just great. <laughs> I love how, how the game is just trying to make you bleed on your own misfortune. <laughs> so I'm turning the recording on now, okay? Alrighty. I, I just run mine constantly, so... Welcome back, everyone. We just had a small, small conversation with here, a Ben Minister here about uh, how me and Teutonic Order is gonna send him money <laughs> so, so he can actually raise an army. Uh, I don't think sending you an alliance is a wise thing uh, because it might trigger the Ottomans' interest in you, do you say? Uh, I agree with that at this point. Um... Oh, Zed has got a, a, rev a revolt. Huh, lovely. I can't do anything about it, though. Because <laughs> you have no army? I have the mercenaries, but yeah, I can't get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, I saw the, oh. saw the merchant. So I'm, um, I'm thinking, because uh, for this part, uh, me and Teutonic Order are planning to attack uh, Lithuania and uh, make a small partitioning of uh, Lithuania and Poland. Mm. So it's gonna be a long conflict and we're waiting for the Golden Horde to attack them. So it would weaken them. I know this is a bit, um, well you could say, especially you could say unknightly of me. Very unknightly. The or yeah. the Lithuanians here, they've been protecting your country for years. They haven't been protecting me actually of anything. They're having relation 27 with me, so they're mostly tolerating me. If they do at all. Well, you know, you're Russian. <laughs> That's enough to explain. Yeah, I really don't. Well, I have an Oriental Technology tree, so it's like 85%. Oriental? Uh, oh right, you have to westernize, don't you? I'm, I'm uh, a bit reluctant about that. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Well, in the long run, it'll it'll help you, but... Uh... Yeah, I know, I know about the game impact, but I just meant I try to follow the Russian way, you know. And uh... I have to westernize still. What was it? Uh, Peter the Great, mm -hmm. who who uh, talked about the Western, the window to Europe. So that was like 17th, 18th century, probably, when they started the reforms. Well, I think they've built into the game a way to to create the patriarchy of Russia as well.